Ever since the weight system was added to Tarkov, we all know that feeling of finding a bunch of juicy loot only to realize that we're too overweight to carry it out and still be effective in a fight. For the last few wipes, I've been a firm believer that the Abdalos 2 was the best stimulant for dealing with being overweight. And I even made a video about it a few months ago. However, I've been doing some testing and we may have a new top dog for carrying out a lot of weight. So that's why today I'm going to be showing you guys everything you need to know about overweight stems. Before we jump into the video, I just want to give a quick reminder that I'm live over on Twitch pretty much every day between 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have any questions related to my videos or just the game in general, feel free to stop by and hang out for a bit. We've also launched a community discord, so if that interests you, that'll be linked below as well. Alright, so jumping straight into this, I've got four stems that I want to show you guys that will all help you in some capacity while being overweight. Two of these being Abdalbos 2 and Mule, which are pretty widely known by now to be some of the best options, but there are two others that you might not know about. The four stems we'll be covering today are the L1, Trimadol, Abdalbos 2, and the Mule. Before we get started, I want you guys to know that all of these tests were done with a total weight of just over 60 kilograms, and I tried to test everything as evenly and as fair as I could. First things first, we have to do a control test. Again, 60 kilograms starting weight and we're going to be running out our stamina bar all the way starting from the back of this truck. So let's do it. So under no stems, we were able to run about 85 meters total before we ran out of stamina. This will be super important when comparing all of the stems later. Now that the control test is out of the way, the first stem on the board is going to be the L1 Nor Epinephrine. And this one costs between 20 to 25k rubles on the flea market and is going to be the cheapest one on this list by far. The L1 increases your endurance skill by 10 levels strength skill by 20 levels and max stamina by 30 levels all for a total duration of 120 seconds or two minutes it also has an added bonus of being a painkiller but it takes a serious hit to your energy and hydration the major downside to the stem is the fact that it only lasts 120 seconds but given how cheap it is i don't really see that as a bad thing so as you can see from our test we were able to sprint roughly 125 meters which is 40 meters farther than if we were using no stems at all also the added bonus to our strength level we were able to see our weight bar go up a bit which means we have slightly more mobility than we would without using stems but overall i think the price for this is a great budget option to use if you just need a little extra push to get to the extract at the end of the raid moving on from the l1 we're going to jump straight into trimadol now this stem i've used a lot in the past by pairing it with an sj6 to basically have unlimited stamina for a short period of time but I wasn't aware until recently that it's actually a great stem to use when you're overweight. Trimadol costs anywhere between 60 and 90k on the flea and prices are all over the place. But you can definitely get it for pretty cheap if you pay attention to the flea. But I honestly wouldn't recommend paying more than about 70k for it. So if we look at the stats, we can see a whole lot going on. But the important thing here is that it increases our strength, endurance, and max stamina by 10 levels. And it also gives us a boost to stamina recovery recovery which means our stamina bar is going to refill a lot faster than normal again another major downside to trim it all is that it only lasts 180 seconds which is just one minute longer than the l1 and it's also going to take a major hit on our energy and hydration but if we take a look at our test we were able to sprint out a full stamina bar and run just under 200 meters which is 113 meters more than using no stems and 73 meters more than the l1 also also, with the bonus to our stamina recovery, our stamina bar is going to refill very quickly which means we can get moving even faster. The major downside to trim it all is that we only get a slight increase to our weight bar. So mobility and inertia are going to be a big issue if we happen to run into other players. Overall, even though the stem is almost four times the price of an L1, I think the benefits of it definitely justify the price depending on your situation. I think the L1 is great if you're close to an extract and need an extra push. And I think the trim it all is even better if you're slightly farther away from extract and expect 
expect it to take you a little bit longer to get there. Moving on from Trimadol, we have my personal favorite, the Abdalbos 2. Now, after testing, I think the Abdalbos 2 might not be at the top of my list anymore, but we'll get to that later. Earlier in the wipe, I was buying these things for less than 60K, but here recently, they've been hovering between 80 and 90, but you can definitely still get them for cheap sometimes. If we look at the stats, we can see a whole lot going on, but the important thing here is that it increases our strength and endurance skills by 20 levels and gives us a 45% increase to our weight limit. Basically what this means is no matter how heavy you are when using this stem, you're gonna retain a lot of your mobility, which is crucial if you run into other players. Unfortunately, we do take a negative 20 hit to our max stamina and a negative one to our stamina recovery, which basically means our stamina bar won't fill up as quickly. If we take a look at our sprint test, you'll see we were able to make it about 93 meters before we ran out of stamina. This is only eight meters farther than using no stems at all. Now, I know that sounds like a complete waste, but the benefit of the Abdabas 2 over the L1 and Trimadol is the increase to your weight limit, giving you less of a penalty to your mobility, which is a huge helping hand if you were to get into a fight. The other major downside to the stem that was brought up a lot in my last video about the Abdalbos 2 is the fact that we take negative one damage per second which means you'll also have to use a propodol at the same time in order to cancel this negative effect. By using the propodol, that brings an added cost of around 25 to 28K to the table when talking about the Abdalbos 2, and propodols only last for 240 seconds. So if you plan on using the entire 1800 seconds of the Abdalbos 2, which I do not recommend at all, that's 30 minutes, that means you would also need to use seven and a half propodols or be healing constantly with other meds. Overall, I think the Abdalbos Abdalbos 2 is great for very specific situations and I think it should be used when you have a solid distance to cover before your extract but not so far that you have to use multiple propodols. For example, if I was looting the resort on shoreline and I ended up being around 55 kilos with Path the Lighthouse as my extract, I would definitely prefer to use the Abdalbos 2 over the L1 or Trimadol, especially if my energy and hydration are pretty low since the Abdalbos 2 does not affect either of those. The L1 is cheap and the Trimadol is a little bit cheaper than Abdalbos 2, but you have to remember it's going to take a massive hit on your energy and hydration, which is one of the main reasons why you wouldn't want to use it if you have far to go. Finally, moving on from the Abdalbos 2, we have the one and only mule there once was a time when this stem was our only real option for carrying out a lot of loot and it used to be much cheaper than it is now if you want to buy one of these it's going to cost you anywhere between 120 to 150k at the time of this recording and these things only go up in price as the wipe goes on if we take a look at the stats the mule is very simple it lasts 900 seconds or 15 minutes it gives a 50 percent increase to our weight limit and it only takes 0.1 hp per second second which means you don't immediately need to pop a propodol and you can just heal with an ifac or other med every so often if you want to if we take a look at our sprint test we made it just short of 110 meters on a full stamina bar that's only 25 meters farther than using no stems and only 17 meters farther than the abdalbos 2 but the benefit of the mule is that we have much more mobility than the l1 and trimadol for me personally the price of the mule just isn't worth it when in most cases the Abdalbos 2 is just as good and cheaper. Obviously, if you're planning on being overweight in raid for a while, the mule is a much better choice over the Abdalbos 2. All right, so that's everything you need to know about each of these stems used to help being overweight. So a lot of you probably clicked on this video and were just looking for a simple answer of which stem is the best and what should I use? And to answer that, I would say it depends. What I mean by that is each one has advantages over the others depending on your situation. So it's best if I just give you a few examples and we can have a little pop quiz kind of thing. Example number one, you're on reserve with about 52 kilograms of loot. 52 kilograms means you have too much weight to regain stamina while walking and your mobility is limited. Your extract is Red Rebel and you're approximately 190 meters away from your extract. Which stem is best for this scenario? 
In this case, I would use the L1. We know we can go roughly 125 meters on a full stamina bar at 60 kilograms, and the extract is close enough to where the 120 second duration should be more than enough. Example number two, you're on interchange ratting Emercom checkpoint. You kill an absolute juicer and end up being over 70 kilograms after stealing all of his loot. You slowly walk into Emercom to leave the raid only to realize you have railway as an extract. You then start calling yourself a dumbass asking how you can make such a stupid mistake realizing you have to run across the entire map probably over seven to eight hundred meters you decide to pop a stem which one is best in this scenario in this case i would use either a mule or an abdabos 2. i think the abdabos 2 will still have the slight edge coming out being a little bit cheaper with only having to use at most two propanols but either of the two is a good option depending on how much money you want to spend on them we're covering a long distance here so using an l1 at 120 second duration or a trimadol at 180 second duration probably won't be enough and you'll likely start dying of energy or dehydration before you can even make it to the extract all right so that's basically gonna do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you learned something let me know down in the comments which stem is your go-to and how you guys have used them effectively in your raids again quick reminder we go live on twitch pretty much every day between 6 and 7 p.m eastern standard time and we also have a community discord where you can find people to play with share photos of cursed guns or even show off your loot at the end of a juicy raid so if that interests you it'll be linked down below but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video